<laughs> Righto guys, well let's get this L-shaped Space Invaders board out of here. And yeah, I don't know, I suspect that maybe on this this header here is notoriously bad. I don't know if that one's been replaced from the original. It looks like it's been replaced actually. Might be one of these, or it could actually be the connection through onto the uh, the backboard there, which could be causing my current problem. But nevertheless, let's get it out anyway. We'll get the braze kit in there, and we'll bypass uh, the main ROMs, and we'll be able to do self-test and all the rest of it. So let's get this board out and onto the table, and we'll swap over the uh, the 8080. Oh, another thing, guys, just need to look out for uh, these headers. Sometimes I've seen them be a little bit different in terms of the way they connect on here. But you can see that I've got a header here, but I don't have one on these four pins. And then down here, the bottom one uh, has three extra pins underneath it which aren't plugged in. So you've got to make sure you get that in the right way around and uh, on the right pins. All right, well, let's get this board out. Now I've got it out on the table. You can see, guys, I haven't actually taken the, uh, the top board out. I did take it out and reseat it but you can take out the whole l-shaped uh, setup all as one because the uh, the chip we want to take out is this one here so um, comes out as one unit I did notice that uh, looking carefully here look it looks like there's been some work done on the, um, on the header here all right guys so um, we got to get this guy out and remembering when you take these out because this is the uh, the main processor the 8080 that we need to put into the braze kit which I need to unpack so uh, that comes out of there we put it into the braze kit pop it back on and then that bypasses the uh, the ROM chips here so you can actually take these ROMs out completely and have this uh, un, you know left open I think I might just leave mine in there um, they won't be accessed anyway so uh, I'll just leave this guy out and uh, get this undone and then we'll get that chip swapped over Okay guys, we've got to be fairly careful. I just noticed actually that this CPU isn't even in that socket very well. It's like half up on the side. So uh, that's interesting. Um, so I'm just going to put a screwdriver in there. I'm going to just be very careful that I don't scratch underneath. Just lever that up. And on both sides. And sometimes they don't um, have any protection under there and you can end up scratching the traces um, which is not good and you also don't want to bend the pins either so just take your time and because uh, these got gold pins on them they're quite fragile so there it is at 080 out yep it's no worries no uh, bent pins, and we've just got to remember that the um, the notch on that end, you've got to get it the right way around. And you can see there's got a little notch in the bottom there as well to show that it goes that way. So uh, let's get the brace kit. Okay, so we can see on the brace kit that uh, on the bottom socket there is another notch at this end, and they also put the 8080 in big words down the bottom there, sort of show you which end that notch should go. So make sure you get it right. Line up the chip very carefully. And the legs may be slightly different in length because uh, they've been bent out a little bit from being removed from the other one. What I normally do in that case, is just very carefully just put on the table and uh, bend it flat. And uh, that's looking a bit better. And we should be able to get that in now. Okay, making sure that all the legs, all the pins are going to go in. You do have to be careful with this, guys, because sometimes the legs can just hang over a little bit. And then uh, they can splay over the sides. So take your time. And then slowly press it in. And uh, there we go. It's in solid actually. Jeez, really solid. <laughs> More solid than it was on the board. Okay, so now we have it in. Remembering the notch again, we now got to put this whole board back on to the spaces. This is a, not tricky, but just got to be careful because you can't really see the pins very well under here. 
um, because you're doing it with this big board on the back on the top of it so again be just very careful make sure that everything is lined up and uh, on my particular board it certainly doesn't feel like it sort of wants to go in um, but we shall see I don't want to go in at all <laughs> with it on there it's certainly lined up okay let's hope we can get this in oh, there we go a little bit of coercing and there we go when that's it we are ready to put it back in the machine so let's do that and see what happens right we'll plug back in and got those plugs right again double check yep everything looks sweet the edge connector's back on let's plug her in fire up all right moment of truth guys let's check it out Had a sound pop. Oh, self test failed. There we go. So maybe we do have a got a problem on the bit. It says. Interesting. So that's the cool thing about this board, though, guys, as you can immediately see if you do have a problem. Um, this still will get out though and play. I think. So we can press fire to continue. And here we have the main selection of all the different games, which is really cool. And actually what I should do is get in here for um, uh, changing the uh, free play, because it's really annoying. <laughs> um, actually that's already, coinage is already on free play, so there you go power up it goes to the game menu I guess you can make it go straight into a game which is probably a good idea let's go straight into spaces uh, keep high scores which is awesome three laser bases 1500 bonus shooter is normal you go what brisk fast very fast turbo <laughs> very slow slow normal makes for interesting variations of play and uh, as we got here Oh, and that's for the deluxe version. Next page, Lunar Rescue. So yeah, I think the 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 um, in fact we'll go through these uh, the three pages here, and it's just all the options. Really, just different. Um, you know, the bases and when you get your extra man and so forth, and your shooting speed. That'd be quite quite fun to uh, test out some different speeds. Uh, so yeah, so save and exit. And um, let's get into Space Invaders, see if it fires up. And it is, and you can see down the bottom, free play, which is awesome. And now I don't have to <laughs> keep uh, pressing the button to um, inside the coin door to, to get it going. So guys, it is running. Um, I'm worried, of course, that we'd have that fail on that bit test. Um, I'm, just, I'm not sure which what that actually is and if that's causing the problem. It's a bit of a weird thing though um, that that should cause a problem over time. Anyway, I'll have to investigate that out, but uh, hopefully this stays together.